Welcome to new Selfish OS podcast and this time around it's all about the new early access version of Selfish OS 3.3014 and I have it running here on my I have it running here on my Sony Xperia 10 Plus device and uh, I wanted to demonstrate to you how good the fingerprint reader is working but as you can see it was failing of course but now let's see it again after wiping my finger Ah, now it's working. So as you can see here, as usual, one click and then a second click to recognize your finger or second swipe on the uh, fingerprint reader. So let's get started with uh, the new features. Uh, one thing that you notice immediately after running a few programs is that uh, you can see there are rounded corners now for the tiles, so for the open app view. They're now rounded corners which allow you to see that there's a bit of polishing going on in the version 3.3. The next next thing is remorse pop-ups have been changed and I can show you a comparison between the old version and the new version. So you can see that a tab now uh, simply dismisses the pop-up and uh, undoes what you want to do and if you want to just simply swipe the pop-up away you can either press the X or you can swipe it away. Nextcloud account is added in a SafeJS 3.3 so you click on accounts, add account and you can see I have a Nextcloud account here and I can click on it and I can add my server address, username and password and this gives me those services so backup service, I have the option to backup my SafeShare system and my personal data to Nextcloud. Calendars and contacts can be synced. This is a feature that I already used in uh, SafeShare with Kaldav and Kartav. This can now be done within the Nextcloud account. Images and photos can be synced and they will appear in the gallery and you can just simply upload and download photos. Uh, notifications will appear. So if your Nextcloud instance is giving you some notifications, they will appear in the notification panel here. And sharing is of course also possible. You can upload any file via the sharing app to your Nextcloud. So this is a nice addition. Uh, better audio and video support has been added. So when it comes to YouTube streaming, it might stutter when it's buffering still. So I have some issues still when it comes to YouTube streaming and uh, yeah, if I click on a video for example it will work, it will take a bit um, of buffering according to your internet speed and uh, then it might buffer again depending on so, yeah, here, the, the speed uh, of your internet connection as well and then it will stutter maybe. But uh, audio and video support has been supported, uh, has been improved using uh, FFmpeg directly instead of uh, using uh, libav for software decoding. Otherwise, hardware decoding will be done by the hardware chip as well. Uh, minimized apps don't rotate anymore. So if I rotate, you can see that those minimized apps won't rotate anymore. This feature should um, give you a bit of more battery life because every time you rotate. And the apps have to rotate as well, which is not um, yeah, intended for minimized apps, I would say. Uh, new weather icons, you might have saw it here. If I click on it, you can see it clearly. They're more contrasty and especially if I go into a light theme, like glacial for example, you can see that those icons show a good contrast also here can be seen very very easily. Let's go back to this for example and you can see also pretty good visible when it comes to those themes. So theming support is better uh, when it comes to weather icons. Uh, better fingerprint uh, reliability I tried to show you. Uh, it's a bit if you still have wet fingers especially it's very hot here in New Zealand currently uh, and it's a bit sweaty then you have problems with the fingerprint but in general I think the fingerprint should work a lot better. Uh, the camera roll shows taken pictures directly after taking so if I go here into the camera app 
and just snap a photo of myself. I can go here and directly see my photo that was broken or uh, had a long delay in the last version. And yeah, this is uh, not a problem anymore. When it comes to NFC, NFC has been so, uh, the support for NFC has been enabled for the Sony Xperia X device here on the X10 Xperia 10 device it is also enabled the good thing is if you disable it for saving some battery it will be disabled also after restart so pretty handy pretty good documents app has been uh, improved and now allows you to open up documents a lot quicker let's see open up the documents app and if I have a big file just like this uh, special booklet PDF file 6.2 megabyte PDF you can see it directly instantly opens it and then renders the pages uh, one after another when it uh, has the time to uh, yeah finish the rendering and you can see the documents app is now a lot quicker with big files the email app has now a global address search if you want to uh, go to the email app I don't think I have an account set up but if you want to um, contact someone of your exchange group you can just type in the t to field the first letters and it will offer you the option to search uh, Microsoft Exchange for users and then can easily um, fill out the user that you want to contact there is an improved location support enabled so if we go to settings and we go to location services you can see uh, you have the different uh, locations here you have the option to uh, set custom locations gps positioning and you can see offline positioning log from mozilla location services are available or online position log from mozilla services are also available and you can have custom settings high accuracy positioning or battery saving mode and also location services in general should be working more reliable and get a faster signal a faster location fix android apps have now an sd card support not all android apps apparently my amazon music was not working after i tested it but uh, osm and and here maps do have uh, the support for um for using the sd card if you are going to the settings here and you can set the data storage and here usually also your uh, sd card should appear now under android settings if you have an sd card included i don't have an sd card here inside my xperia 10 device but android apps should now have access to an sd card which is pretty handy and then the pinch uh, gesture has been fixed so let's go to the gallery app i have a photo here i can just simply pinch to zoom this works again it was a bit fiddly in the last app where you had to uh, have all those uh, elements um, ha hidden uh, to be able to pinch to zoom and this is now possible directly as you can see without any issues anymore so these are the changes that you can see basically on your device itself but there are some under the hood changes first you will notice that the system will run a lot more smooth this has something to do with a new um, compiler new c compiler under the hood that optimizes the programs a bit better especially those that viola provides by because they have been recompiled against this new gcc version 8.3 and of course security has been also enhanced with those libraries as well and this is a good addition i think and this is a first step on upgrading the whole system and providing more and more libraries modern libraries and providing the chance to port more modern applications this new gcc in combination with some kernel upgrades for the xperia 10 and the xa2 allow for example the possibility to run flat pack images and those flat pack images then contain some applications that you usually cannot run on Safish S because of yeah missing libraries just like a modern web browser based on Qt web engine so the blink engine and uh, this is possible now with this new Safish OS 3.3 this is everything for this little uh, new videos features in Safe S 3.3. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, like, like and subscribe. And um, 
Until the next time, bye.